welcome back to my channel. I thank you so much for stopping by and um, sharing with me today. Today I have an unboxing for you. Um, it's actually a light pad. It's an A4 LED light pad from the company Elise. That's E-L-I-C-E. -E. Um, they had uh, reached out to me um, and asked me to review this light pad for them. Can you believe that? I'm actually kind of shocked, seeing as how I have a very small number of subscribers. Thank you for everyone who subscribed, by the way. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Hello, my diamond painting sweeties. Hello. Um, but yeah, they reached out to me. But um, one of the things I liked about that is that it looks like they want some really honest reviews. Like, it doesn't matter about, ooh, she got a lot of subscribers. She can reach a lot of people. They just want honest reviews from people who diamond paint. So, um, I really appreciate that. Um, and, hey, I love uh, uh, free stuff. So, this this uh, light pad was purchased for me to review. And as I told you, if you watch any of my uh, other videos, I told you if I ever got anything that was purchased for review, I would let you know that. So, this is... Um, this is going to be an honest review, but I wanted to let you know this item was purchased for me to review. So, um, before I get right into that unboxing real quick, I just want to give you a little background on the uh, product. It's an A4 LED light pad from Elise. It's stepless. Um, and this light pad is coming from um, a company called Elise. Um, so, they're a company actually located in uh, Guangdong, China. They have a U.S. division here, though, as well. And, they, you know, they, they're a manufacturer, and um, they're also um, a trading company. They have items. Um, they sell items like um, light pads. You can get EAS devices from them, uh, USB cords. Um, but their um, main item is the EAS devices and the light pads, which is what I will be reviewing today. And this came for me from the U.S. division that they have. So um, let's get right into this. And also, I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you. But um, I also just wanted to uh, let you know as well, uh, this is coming from um, the company itself. I spoke to the lady. She's really nice. They want you to know that they stand by their product. So they do want you to know that. And they want you to know that this item, if you purchase it, it has a 12-month warranty. And um, the light pad is much more sturdy and it's more durable than others, which we shall find out in a minute. So let's get uh, right into this. Hold on, let me grab my thing here. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Just a second. Alright. So I got my little trusty here. So let's unbox this and see what we have. So yeah, so this um, particular light pad, this company, um, at least they sell uh, several light pads, but this particular one here um, is geared more towards diamond painters. Anyone can use it, you know, if you sketch um, or do any of that, you can use this diamond painting. But this is actually a light pad with a diamond painting kit, because as I said, it's geared more toward diamond painters. Um, and it can be found on Amazon. So the cost of this is $29.99, and you get all these cool accessories that we're about to see in a minute. Okay, it comes in this little box. Uh, Seems like a lot can fit in that box, but we shall see. All right, so here we are. So in this box, we should have a light pad. So let's go right to the light pad first. And now the dimensions on this light pad, the actual dimensions of it should be, oh, it now somewhere. It's like 13 point something by 9.8 uh, in width and 0 0.21 in dimensions. So let's see here. Oh. 
this looks nice. This looks bigger than um, the one that I had purchased from Magic Fly. And see, you can see the brand there at least. That's the company who makes it. I'm trying to see if this has a screen protector on it. Or is that just how it looks? Okay, it does. See there? So it actually comes with a screen protector, which I'm actually going to leave on here. I really like that. That's a plus right there. Alrighty. So it should come with the light pad. It should come with... Um, a, uh, so this is a stepless control here. Um, and it also has... Let's see here. See on the side it has these rulers. So if you need to... Uh, measure something so I think that's kind of cool and then on that side as well all right let's see what else does this come with so it should have the USB cord so here's the USB cord so we have that and we should also have let's see I do not see a manual it's supposed to come with a manual. I don't see one. I see this little um, instruction paper that it comes with. So it's a copy board instruction papers. And it should come with a, a light pad stand. And this has five angles. So here's the light pad stand here. So it's like your uh, standard light pad here. And it has five angles. moves up like this. I'm just trying to... I think I saw someone else on one of their videos struggling with this, but it's supposed to pop. Okay, there we go. I just couldn't get it out of the thing. There we go. Because it's like, I know, I know how to use these things. So it has five uh, settings. So you can do it here, 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 here. And then, like, the much lower setting here. And then, of course, the light pad goes this way. I'll be showing you that in a minute, though. All righty, let's see what else we got in here. We got the light pad, and we should have four clips. So let's look for the four clips. Let's take, it comes with this really nice bag here. This is a nice set so far. So, yeah, we have the four clips right here. I'm saying four clips. And then in here, we should also have 20 PVC bags which is, you know, the diamond painting bags that we use. And it looks like they are here. I haven't counted these. It looks like that's about 20. So these are kind of, let me see here. Hold on one second. Let me open this up. So with this particular light pad, you've seen a lot of reviews for it. Um, but I'm just going to be a little bit extra on mine. You'll see in just a minute. Hold on. But a lot of uh, wonderful ladies have done a review on this light pad. So if you type uh, in um, Elise uh, um, A4 light pad, you're going to see so many reviews. But thank you for stopping by and checking mine out. Because I'm about to give you some information in just a minute. This is actually really nice, though. Because as you guys know, I <laughs> this is kind of a funny <laughs> review for me. Because if you've been following me, uh, you would see that my very first diamond painting kind of quote unquote video because it really wasn't a diamond painting I thought it was was I was actually unboxing what I thought was a light pad but it actually turns out I mean not a light pad a diamond painting but it actually turns out it was supposed to have been a light pad I ordered but it wasn't even that it was some metal pipes so check that video out if you haven't it's actually quite funny um which is one of the reasons well actually I didn't post it for it to be funny I actually posted it because I want people to see, whoa, this kind of stuff can happen to you. But it actually turned out to be comical. So, hey, whatever works. <laughs> so then we also have... Um, so we should have some numbering tags in here. Let's see. So they, they only give you, like, one little set. I actually bought some of these from Walmart. But, um, you know, you put these on your bags, and you can put the color and the DMC on there and the little symbols. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice little amount. It's enough for all the bags. So they also give you that. They give you four um, diamond painting pens. 
And some of you might be like, some of you bigger time diamond painters who might be watching this, great, just when I need more pens. Hey, you can always use these. Matter of fact, there's a lady who, if you guys have a bunch of these and you don't know what to do with them, um, reach out to me. Um, uh, send me, um, reach out to me on Instagram or send me a comment down below because she'd be happy to take these off your hands. She donates them to a school. Um, so that's uh, one thing you can be doing with those. And then here's a one diamond painting tool you get. And then we get the one bag here that it comes with. Um, we get the 28 grid storage. Now this is nice. Now, oh, wait a minute. Oh, let me see here. Hold on, let's open this up. Ooh, these are really tiny. This, okay, hold on. I've seen people use these. Um, I don't personally use these. I'm I'm a novice at this, but I'm I would say old school novice, meaning that I just do it right out the bag and I pour them into the tray, and they're already in the bag, and then I can put it away. I don't do all these little extra steps. Maybe if I get more big timey with it or larger paintings. Oh, but look at this. They're little individuals. Oh no, they're not. They're in these little sections. I thought they were individual, but that's still cute. Look at that. This, this, I wouldn't recommend using this to put uh, your diamond paintings, I mean your drills in if you're kidding up to get ready to diamond paint, but if you have a few of each kind left over and you don't diamond paint that much, uh, this would be good. You can just put your extra drills in here until you no longer have room and then you need to upgrade to something bigger. I can still use this because as you guys know, I also bling things, or will be, so I can still use that. So that's cool. And we're supposed to get, so we get these, uh, um, what is that there? That's five, ten, so this is 20 uh, 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 waxes here that you get. So it's 20 little squares of wax for those who, who you know, like the wax. Um, I'm going to actually, I'm using the wax now, but I'm actually going to be using um, the uh, the other stuff in a minute, the um, the. Uh, what did I tell you guys that stuff was? But it's the, the, the blue tack stuff. I'm going to be using that soon. And it looks like we're supposed to get three boats. So let's see here. So this is, you know, your standard boat. Everybody knows this one. This is a little bit of an upgrade. That's what I call it. And then this one's even more of an upgrade. Hey, let me upgrade you with some new things and mm -mm -mm labels and upgrade you. So I feel like this is even more upgraded. And what I like about this one is if you want to like, uh, it has a little diamond pin rest. So I think that's cool. And I can actually use this for my, my Swarovski crystal. So that's kind of cool. So it looks like everything that it's supposed to come with, it's supposed to have some tweezers. So these are just some little very cheap plastic tweezers, which I don't even think I'll be using those. But hey, if somebody likes those, um, you can go ahead and use those. They're nice, you know, if you like to use those. And then we got the wax, so it looks like it has everything in here, and I like the little baggie, so that is nice. So let us uh, test out the slide pad, shall we? I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me see, is there anything I forgot to go over to tell you about this? So it looks like it comes with everything that um, it's supposed to come with. So... Actually, I'm going to leave that out so I can show you how to use that. So give me just a minute. I'm going to um, um, get this light pad set up, and we'll see how it looks in the light, all right? I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I got my little hook up here, and we'll see how this looks. Um, what I forgot to mention when I was uh, showing you the products, I just want to leave this out. Um, with the pans, I... I um, wanted to show you. So it looks like that might be a 9 or 10 placer there. Um, you also get a, looks like a 2 placer. Um, and then this looks like maybe a 5 placer. If I'm wrong, you guys can let me know in the comments. This is a little double sided straightener here. And then this one here again looks like that might be a 5 placer. So I want to show you these. These are really nice. Unless, like I said, you're one of those people, oh my gosh, I have so many of these, but you can donate them. There's always something you can do with them. And maybe down the road, I'll show you some other tools, you, uh, uh, tips and tricks you can actually do with the pens to recycle and make art out of them. 
So let's get this plugged in and see how it looks. So we got our stand here. Now this is a really nice kit. Now, what I was telling you, what they really wanted uh, to draw attention to on their light pad is the sturdiness of it. Like this thing, look at it. It, it does seem very sturdy and durable. Like I'm not even gonna lie. This is nice. Uh, when I was getting mine, I probably should have looked at this one. Um, I don't know if I saw this company. I may have, but I know there's another company and they, they have a similar product. I don't think their light pad looked like this, and they had a lot of bad reviews, so I was like, no. This one has pretty good reviews, though. So, all right, let's get this plugged in and see what it looks like, though. Let me see if you can see that thickness. I just wanted you to see that. Look at that. This is really nice. I feel like you can actually drop this on the kitchen floor and be like, oh, no, and it'll be fine. Now, the one that I bought from Magic Fly, uh, I, no, I don't, I don't think so. It's, it's, that might break. And then it might be okay, I don't know. But this one definitely does seem durable. So I'm really, really happy with that. So this is a stepless, uh, let's see here if you can see that. Wow, woo! <laughs> Whoa, Nelly, I wasn't expecting that. You guys can't really see it from there, but that does get pretty bright. I should have had my stunner shades on. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I really was not expecting that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You got to hold it down. So when you hit it one time, that turns it on. Oof. And then you hit it one time, it turns it off. So if you want to switch the settings, you hit it one time to turn it on, and then you hold it. Wait, I thought you were supposed to tap it. But apparently you don't tap it, so I think you... I'm supposed to hold it. And see how it's getting dimmer? And then press and hold again, and it's getting brighter. And then press and hold again. Oh, I see. Well, look, I'm learning with y'all. So let, let's, let's do this again. Okay, this thing also has, so, um, it's a, a, a several level stepless light pad with a, a built-in memory function, meaning whatever you just left it off at, like whatever I had that on when I turned it back on again, see, it, it didn't go full bright like when I first did it. So like, let's turn it down. Okay, it's going back bright again. Let's go back down to about like right there. See there? Now I'm going to turn this off. Okay, now let's turn it back on. Is, you see, so it went right back to my setting. I really like that. This is actually nice. I'm not going to lie. I, I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting. You know, I, I was actually expecting a little thin, little kind of cheaply looking light pad, you know. But this, this thing is actually nice. I think I changed my mind. I think I want to use this one for uh, 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 maybe my diamond paintings and that other one I can use for drawing and reading and stuff because this one gets bright. Uh, that magic fly that I bought, this gets brighter than that. And I like that this has several levels. Like, okay. Oops. I'm turning it back down. Okay. Let's see exactly how many it has. I'm trying to go up to the bright. So I'll, we'll just say that's the brightest. That's another one. That's another one. That's an Darn it, I keep hitting it. That's another one. So it looks like all in all, there's about five levels, it looks like. I'm going to have to read the instructions to learn how to do it properly. But when it goes to brightest, see, now that's the brightest setting. And then when you hit it again, see, it's going down. And it's going to keep on going down and until it gets to the lowest. And now it won't go anymore. And then you just have to turn it off. And then if you want it brighter, all you do is hit it, and it's going to go all the way back up bright. And that's the bright. I like this because the Magic Fly I had had this little black mesh across it. It's still very bright, but this is, like, super bright. And I like how it's sturdy, which is why they really wanted to kind of gear this toward diamond painting. Because those of you who are hard on your uh, 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 drills and stuff on this, this, this can handle it. So I'm, I'm very, very impressed with this this is really really nice so this is 
the A4 um, LED light pad by Elise, um, which I told you is their manufacturer, manufacturer products, and they're also a trader. So this is really nice. And um, I'm going to put a link um, to um, their Amazon store in the description box down below. So you guys can uh, buy that product. I'm not affiliated with them. I do not get any money if you click on the link. It's just a regular link, so feel free to click on it. Um, uh, the only thing I pretty much got out of it was this light pad right here, which is nice. So I am not complaining. Hey, free is free, though. But, I mean, for real, this is really nice. I feel like this light pad alone could be $30 because some of the ones I was originally looking at, they were like they were like 30 and 40 bucks. And I'm like, ooh, I, I don't even know if I'm going to just stick with this diamond painting. So I wound up getting the Magic Flight was still more than I wanted to pay. But that was the only one I really saw in my price range that had good reviews. I wish I would have seen this one. And then you get all these diamond painting freebies. But anyway, um, that's my video on this. And I really highly recommend this um, for longtime diamond painters. And the stuff that you don't use, you can give it away. Um, you're like, well, I already have a light pad. You can use this as an extra one. Um, you can let your children use it. Um, and for you newbies who don't want to spend a lot of money, this is good because you also get your uh, diamond painting starter set with all the little tools. So that's really nice. So like I said, I, I actually could have used this, but I actually wound up buying my stuff. And Well, I'm a cheapskate, so you know I bought my stuff little by little. But um, this is really nice. And even if you decide, like, ooh, I don't really use this. You can always gift this to a family member, people who draw like I draw. So I draw, I read, um, I do a lot of different things. So I, this this will have several uses besides diamond painting. Um, so I, I like this one. Uh, and I have, have two. If one break, I got a backup. But I might wind up giving that other one away um, and keeping this one. So, um, yeah, please check out the store. Um, it's the... Uh, at least official store on Amazon, I believe it is. But like I said, I will leave a link down below. But on a scale of 1 to 10, um, 10 being very good, 1 being bad, um, just the light pad alone, I'm going to give this, so far, from what I've seen, I really like that brightness. That is awesome. I'm giving this, I'm going to give this an 8 on a scale of 1. That is very good for me because I'm very picky. So I'm giving this an 8 for the light pad. And then with the tools that they throw in um, on a scale of 1 to 10, all the, the quality of the tools and everything they give you, I'll give the tools, they're standard tools and everything, I'll give the tools a 7. So um, I think if you take that 8 and 7, uh, this is pretty much all together, I'm going to give this like a 10. So th this is very nice uh, and uh, for only uh, $29.99. So... Uh, Please check this out, and if you do purchase from them, let them know I sent you. Said, hey, Hobbies in the City sent me here. I don't get anything from it, but at least they know that, hey, um, people are watching these videos. And for those of you who do watch, thank you. Um, thank you for the support and the haters. Thank. I want to thank you guys, too. I want to have what you say. I don't have any haters. I'm just saying if I have any, I, I thank all of you uh, for just stopping by and viewing my content. I'm very new at this. I'm green around the ghouls. Get ghouls green around the gills but i do appreciate your support and those of you who've commented and just showed me your appreciation thank you very much um because it encourages me to keep up more content because like i said i was just testing the waters trying something as far as with this diamond painting stuff anyways especially but just with the whole channel as a whole so thank you so much and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe, and I'll know that I need to keep making it. You know, if not, then I was like, what's the point of making content? So please subscribe. Uh, and check out um, my Instagram. It's N-O-C-H-G-I-R-L. Thank you. Have a good day.